Welcome to the AE Juice YouTube channel. I'm Chris and in this video I'm going to show you how to export GIFs from Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you've got your video ready to export, as you can see I've got the AE Juice logo popping in. It holds there for a second and pulls out. So we just want this as a looping GIF. So in order to do this we first have to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and as you can see, we're in the add to render queue settings here. Render settings, we'll go best settings. We want to select best, resolution full, and then everything else here is fine. We'll press OK. We'll go to output module, select lossless. Then we'll go format, quick time, post render action, non channels, RGB and alpha. That is going to make this a transparent GIF. Millions of colors plus, and then press OK. Then we can go to output two, we've got comp three. Let's just put this, uh, let's go GIF export. We'll put that in the AE juice folder, we'll save that and then we'll just press render. So that is rendering that as a QuickTime video. Now we need to open that inside of Adobe Photoshop to convert that video into a GIF. So now we just need to find that in our finder. So as you can see, I've got the AE juice folder, we've got GIF export, right click, open with, now, because Photoshop isn't a video program, it won't show Photoshop here by default. So we have to go and search for it. So we have to go other, scroll down to Photoshop, Photoshop CC, Photoshop open. And as you can see, if I'm playing this back, you can see we've got the AE Juice logo playing on a transparent background. So now we need to go ahead and export this from Photoshop. So we'll go file, export, save for web, legacy. And then once this window opens up, you now want to go ahead and select the preset up here. So you can select, let's go for GIF64 dithered. Everything else here is fine. We've got the image size here, 1080 by 1080. Percent is 100%. We want to keep that at 100% quality. Quality, you can keep as this setting. And then the most important option here, you've got looping options, select forever. There you go. And then if we just go up to here, you've got transparency selector, you've got no transparency dither, so select that. Uh, you've got monitor color here, and then all of these other settings should be fine. Just make sure this says GIF up here. And then once all of these settings are matching these settings here, you just want to go ahead and select save. And then you just want to save this to the folder of choice. So we'll save that there. Now it's just going to take a second for Photoshop to export that, but as soon as that has finished exporting, you can just go into your finder, find the GIF, and when we play this back, you'll see this is now playing back. Now because the logo is white, unfortunately you can't see that, but it has exported. We'll open it in Chrome so you can see. So open in Google Chrome, and there you go, that is our GIF. So that is how you would export the GIF from Adobe After Effects using Photoshop but there is a much quicker and a much easier way and that is taking advantage of the GIF exporter from AE Juice. So we'll go back to our comp and we'll go into window and we're going to load up the AE Juice GIF. So once we've got the AE Juice GIF window open, you just want to go into settings. Then in the settings tab, you can see we've got comps, folders, presets, video, AE viewer, let's select comps. We'll go down to render settings, we'll go best settings, Output module, we'll do custom folder and we'll put that in the AE Juice folder. So we'll open that. Let's do render work area only, or we could do render length of comp. Render active comp, resize to new width. We can export the alpha channel, so we'll select that. Then we'll save video file, open guest folder after render, create preview HTML file. We'll turn that off, we don't need that. Uh, we'll go advanced. And you can change some of the advanced settings, but of course, because we've selected alpha channel, you can't do that. So let's do color depth 256. You've got all of these other advanced settings here, but of course, if this means nothing to you, then don't worry, just go back to basic and use these basic settings. We'll close this down, then we'll just press render. Of course, your composition has a big size. We are recommended to resize, or we can continue. You don't have to resize, you can just press continue, but I'm going to resize to, let's go 640, then we'll continue. That should now export. And now when we go into our finder, we should now find our GIF. And there we go, we now have that composition as a GIF and that's been exported from Adobe After Effects using the AE Juice GIF exporter. 
So thank you ever so much for watching this video. And if you're interested in downloading the GIF exporter, just check out the AE Juice website. You can find the GIF exporter and so much more. I personally would recommend the I Want It All bundle. I would seriously recommend checking it out because they've got some really awesome plugins and some really cool things to help you step up your work. But there you go. I hope this video helped. And if it did, then please do consider pressing that subscribe button, pressing the bell icon to be notified on the next upload, liking, commenting, sharing with all of your friends. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.